I want to talk about something that just came to my mind. You know, I was going to pray and I felt the need to say this. Some people want to fit in crowds, you know, like they want to be around certain people, you know, but they may have to change something about themselves to fit in with these certain people. For instance, for me to hang out with these type of people, I have to change the way that I dress. Or for me to hang out with these people over here, I have to use a certain type of slang. You know, I can't speak the way that I want to speak. Or I have to act in a way that is really not me or whatever else. Listen. When you are constantly changing yourself and accommodating, what I am trying to say, if people are only going to be your friends, if you act a certain way or dress a certain way, they really aren't your friends. If you have to be something that you are not and keep everything in context, I am not saying that if you are in sin, yes, you have to change. But if you are not in sin and people are trying to change you in order for you to hang with them, the best thing to do is to not even mess with those people. Stay away from them. Because you are not going to be happy if you always have to change yourself or be something that you are not or act in a way that you don't really like to act, you are not going to be happy. And that is going to put more pressure on yourself as well. So the best thing to do if those people are that way, stay away from them. Find other people who are more like you. If you like watching cartoons and like the people <laughs> that you are hanging with don't like cartoons and they criticize you for it, stop messing with them. If you like to wear your pants all the way up to your belly button and the people that you hang with have their pants all the way down to their thighs and they are trash talking you for having your pants all the way up, hey, stop messing with them. And I don't know why people sag that low anyways. Makes no sense. But anyways, I pray that this makes sense. Because if people want you to be something that you are not, and they will only accept you if you change, then they are not really your friends. They really don't care for you. So stay away from them. And like I say, keep everything in context. If you are in sin and someone tells you to get out of sin, you should stop sinning. But I am talking about things that are not a sin, like the way that you are dressing. Well, the way that you may dress, or if you choose to use slang or not, or whatever else. If they are trying to change those things about you, perhaps you need to leave those people alone. Of course, when you dress, don't dress in stuff that's going to expose your breast and your behind and, and stuff like that. And don't sag your pants all the way down to your knees and all of that crazy stuff there. So... Just place everything in context. If you have to change in things that are not sinful and they can only accept you if you change the way that they want you to change, you need to stay away from them. Because when you do change, you are not going to like it. So if it is not you, Find some people who are like you because there are people who are like you. Does that make any sense? Having bad friends is not the same as having friends.
Does that make any sense? Having bad friends or people who don't accept you is not the same thing as having real friends. So I pray that makes sense. Sometimes we have to stay to ourselves for a certain time period. <sighs> what I am trying to say, just be yourself unless you are in sin. If you are in sin, you need to change. But if you are not in sin, be yourself. Does that make any sense? So if you are cursing people out and doing dumb stuff like that, yes, you need to change. But if you are not in sin and you like to wear your pants all the way, you like to wear your pants all the way up and you like to wear your baseball cap forward and people like to wear it sideways or way back in the back or whatever else and they crazy talk you because you like doing things in your own way, leave them alone. Okay, God bless.